welcome back. Today I'm going to do like a two-in-one type of video. I'm going to do my March favorites and I am going to do um, a haul. I bought some things. This is in two shopping trips. One thing was from two weeks ago and then the other batch of things was from a week ago. And with my um, March favorites, I only have like two things really. Um, actually three. Um, I didn't do a February favorites because I really didn't have anything I guess like I'm a very simple person once I like something I like it for a while and um, let's just get right into it well, the first thing that I have been loving is this is called Mica Beauty Cosmetics and it is the gel eyeliner and I'll do like an up close shot on this but this gel eyeliner is like oh my gosh it just glides on so easy and I use my Sigma eyeliner brush it's an EO5 I use this brush for it and I got this in my my glam um, bag so I'm not sure where you can find this but I'll look it up and then I'll put like the um, link below I think the, I think I got this in I want to say January my glam or February or something like that and I didn't use it and then I said let me just let me just try this out and oh my gosh it's like just glides on so nice and I'm trying not to wear makeup all the time like I have makeup on now but I'm trying not to wear makeup all the time because I'm trying to let my face breathe um, because I'm, I've tried this new skincare which I'm gonna show you because I got that in my haul and so um, I want my skin to breathe so I can just get better the other thing that I have uh, this is with the face too this is actually an eyeshadow and this is by Mac and it is called glamour check and this is the color it's like a brown like a, a coppery brown color oh my gosh it's so nice I guess because it matches like the color of my eyelids but adds that shimmer to it so usually if I'm moving really really quickly and I need to put on some eyeshadow and I don't have time to be doing like you know the lid the crease and all that stuff the blending and blah, blah blah you know I just put this on let's put it on and then use my liquid eyeliner and that's actually what I have on today and then I have been loving this brush this eyeshadow brush this is by Skylark It's from Ellen Blair on YouTube and I actually have their eyeshadow palette I haven't used it that much but I'm obsessed with this brush this is what I use like pack on the color with this side and blend with this side I love this brush I've been using it all the time all the time then the uh, last thing that I have for my favorites it's to do with hair and this is the simplicity oil I'm obsessed with this oil you just don't understand this oil is the bomb it like it helps make my hair grow I don't know and it just makes my hair feel different I really don't know how to explain it it's like I can feel that it's so soft you don't need a lot of product um you only need like a drop basically and I'm almost already gone out of it it's almost gone I have to order some more but you can get this at www.simplicity-oil.com and they have their toll free number on here if you want to order over the phone but this is awesome I still have to do a full review on the oil um, and I haven't this has not been sent to me I paid for it myself but um, I just love this oil I don't I don't know what else to say about it but let's see oh but I have I have noticed that it has helped um, with my ends in my hair um, it's also helped when whenever I wash my hair and I tie it back so I can air dry it but air dry it so my hair is smooth and I don't have like those little waves and wrinkles in my hair that helps it so that helps it smooth and look straight so I like that now on to my haul okay told you I only had a little bit of favorites but on to my haul now let's see my first I can't even remember what I bought at that time so I'm looking at my iPad on Instagram at the pictures yeah I know I'm cheesy I'm looking at Instagram on my pictures to see what I bought at what trip okay so let's see the first trip I got let's see here we go the first trip I got nine West shoes and if you watch my videos and when I do hauls and I talk about my feet and talk about the size of my shoes you know that I'm a size 11 yes the price thing I'm size 11, but in two brands that I know of off the top of my head, I can wear size 10. And sometimes the 10s in those two brands actually feel too big. 
makes me feel so good. But, um, and it is Jessica Simpson and Nine West. These are the two brands where I can comfortably wear a size 10. I'm not talking about squeeze my foot in the shoe like I'm like one of Cinderella's stepsisters. No, I mean like, I'm like I'm Cinderella. Like I just glide right on in there. And the shoe that I bought was these loafers with the little spikes on them. They are nice. I love them. And they, let me see what the name is. Daliola? Something. I, they're just loafers with studs on them and they're black. And they came in two other colors. They came in um, like a pink color and like this greenish teal color. But I only got, I got the black. I contained myself, controlled myself, and I got the black. Next thing, the next place that I went to was Old Navy. And I just got two things from here. I got two shirts. Um, I think they were having a sale or something like that. Like, what is this, $8.50 a piece? But if you bought two, it's $8.50 for one, but like $10 for two. It was something crazy. So I got two. And they're just your basic t-shirts. Well, one shirt has like buttons down the front. It's blue. It's just your basic shirt. Anybody want to know, I wear size medium in my shirts. I'm losing a lot of weight because I used to be a large in my, in my clothes. Or maybe I just like wearing my clothes large. I don't know. Then the next thing I got is this striped little like boat neck shirt. It's really cute, form fitting, you know, love it. Then, let's see, the next place that I went to was J. Crew. And I'm obsessed with J. Crew. So um, I got three things from there. And let's see what I got. The first thing I got were the, because I, I wanted shorts, but I wanted some nice shorts that are going to last very well, that, that fit right, that didn't fit to Hoochie Mama and didn't fit to soccer mama so like i wanted something that just fit like a person's supposed to fit their pants so i got these like um boyfriend bermuda shorts by j crew in like a khaki color and if you want to know what size i am in my bottoms i'm a size eight and i have i kind of have hips really don't have much of a booty but and my i got chicken legs I'm just all funny shape, so don't mind me. But anyway, these were, because these were on sale. These were like originally $46.50, $46 but I paid like $24.99 for them. Oh yeah, Kim gets things on sale. Yes, she does. No full price here. Sight. No, sometimes I do. And then I kick myself. And then I get over it. Um, After that, I got these little shorts. They look short. Or well, they're not that short, though. I like, because I like the way they fit. They, and another thing, they don't ride up the middle. You know, like... You know, like when you're walking and then your shorts when your thighs rub together, your shorts go up in the middle and you gotta keep pulling them down. No, these don't do that. And that's the main problem with shorts, and that's why I don't like wearing like short shorts because of that problem. But these don't do that. And these were $49.50 as well, but on sale for $24.99. Yes, yes. And then the last thing I got from J. Crew was this belt. I need another belt. I have a black belt. But I need a um, I need a brown one. This one was originally thirty four fifty, but I didn't spend thirty four fifty. I spent like I think fifteen ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine, something like that. So that was all that I got from J Crew. Let's see what else I got during that trip? You know I can't remember. Okay, the other thing that I got from the trip was at Bed Bath and Beyond. I went in there with my mom, and I wasn't planning on spending anything, and then we went down over by the travel aisle, I guess, and it was like the aisle right next to the travel aisle, and I found a head massager. Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. I, I posted this on Instagram, too. Oh my gosh, this thing is so awesome. If my hair wasn't done, I would totally use this. But pretend this is your head, and you just go like this, and you just massage your head. Oh my gosh, your head starts tingling, and I really think that this is helping my hair grow, too. Yep, yep, because I've been using this. I should have put this in my favorites. Okay, this is a favorite. I don't know how much of a favorite it is. I think about like two weeks ago. So two weeks was like at the end of March. Could it really count as a March favorite? I don't know. But I love it. Then, then after that, a week went by or a few, a few, yeah, about a week went by. And then I was at Sally's and I picked up the Argan Oil, Crema Nature Argan Oil, um, Perfect 7-7-in-1 seven, seven Leave-In Treatment. 
And this is supposed to be kind of like a knockoff version of It's a 10. And, um, because I love It's a 10. But so, in some places you go to, it's like either $21 or it's like um, $18, something like that. So I was like, let me just get something that's cheaper for now. And um, It's a 10, you use it so fast. So I was like, let me see what else they have out here. So I tried this. And you know if you use the best, you can't use the rest because I start comparing it to the to that and it's good. It's good, but don't compare it to it's a ten because that's not what it is. Not at all. But it's not a favorite of mine, so I won't be buying it again. I'll use it up, but I won't be buying it again. It didn't hurt my hair, but it didn't it didn't benefit it either. But it's alright. Oh, I forgot to put this in the other trip. The trip with um when I went to J. Crew. I got this, I think I got this from like CVS or Target or something like that. And this is the Shea Moisture Thickening Moisture Mist with Biotin and Bamboo Extract. This stuff is the bomb. I spray this just in my roots, and after I spray this in my roots, that's when, well, no, I massage my scalp first with the scalp massager and then I spray this in my roots and oh my gosh, your scalp just feels like, oh, I love this stuff. I'll definitely repurchase this again. Okay, so now on to um, Ulta. When I was at Ulta, I was trying to find stuff to combat my acne. I have adult acne, yes. I suffered with acne really bad when I was a teenager and then it completely went away in my early 20s and then it came back in my late 20s. Oh, horrible. So I got the Medibac um, skincare from Dermalogica. I didn't want to get full size of everything because I didn't know if it was going to work. And their stuff is expensive. You can spend like $40 on a face wash. And what if the face wash was not good? I didn't want to throw it all away. So instead of spending $40 for one face wash, I spent $40 for the whole little sample kit. And it is awesome. I took everything out of the box because I'm using it now. But you get the clearing skin wash, you get the sebum clearing mask, then you get the clearing mattifier, and then you get the overnight, the overnight clearing gel, and then you get this tiny little concealing spot treatment right here. And then they give you like a little tiny, tiny, tiny little sample of the oil control lotion, and I really Oh, I didn't even open this, so I really wasn't looking for another moisturizer because I have a moisturizer. Let me show you the moisturizer that I have. I have the Neutrogena Visibly Even Daily Moisturizer with SPF 30 in it. So I already have a moisturizer, so I didn't need another one. But, um, oh, and then these extra two things did not come in the kit, so I bought it separately. It's the pre-cleanse, and this is it's like a cleansing oil which you use to to like loosen up all your makeup and your dirt before you use the face wash and then I bought the multi-active toner that's what I used so um I love the line there's only one thing in this line that I cannot stand it works though and that's the part that tears me and up inside is that it works but it stinks and it is the concealing spot tree this little tiny thing is so potently stinky like it smells like sulfur so you're walking around smelling like ashes you smell like a volcano you wear it during the day I was like, oh my god, this stinks. Can anybody smell me? I smell burnt. I wore it one time, never again. So if I do wear it, it might be to go to sleep. But, mm, I know I won't be buying the full size in this. And then I'm actually going to do like a in-depth review. And once my skin gets under control, I may do like a nighttime routine or something. If you guys want to see that, leave a comment below. Then the last two things that I bought was I wanted to try out the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer. I got this at Ulta as well. Just tried out a small one. And then also I have the Maybelline Matte Mousse. And I am in the color Caramel Dark Number 2. And I'm wearing that today. And um, I think that is it for my haul slash um, favorites video. I am about to go to work. It is 8.04. So um, I should be leaving the house now. I should have left the house before 8 o'clock. But that's okay. I love you guys. I'll be late for work get in trouble, get fired, yeah. Psych, no, that won't happen. My boss loves me. She gives me presents all the time, yeah. She's like my fairy godmother. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!